everybody, Steve here in the New York store again. Got a very, very cool six and a half by 14 snare here made by a friend of ours, Ricardo Parra, and that's P-A-R-R-A. -R -R -A. And he's a fellow that we know lives down in South America, and he's been making drums for quite a while and talking with us about his snare drums. And he sent this drum up for me, and I wanted to show it to you. I think it's a remarkably good piece of work. The drum is a stave shell construction drum, and the wood on this particular shell is a South American wood called Algarobo, A-L-G-A-R-R-O-B-O. -O. It's a beautiful sounding drum. I'm going to play it for you in a little bit. Uh, this particular drum, again, is a stave construction shell, so those are like vertical, uh, vertical pieces of wood, and it has a uh, 45 uh, edge on the top inside with a soft rounded outside. The bottom is almost the same as the top in terms of the edge, but a little bit more than 45 on the inside. Uh, for the lugs, he has handmade these single node stainless steel lugs, and they're great. Uh, for the finish, he has a uh, basically beeswax and oil finish, and on the outside, a very, very special polymer and a little bit of oil. Uh, it's a nice, really nice wood, and it's a nice process to protect the wood without impacting the sound. Uh, I said it's a great drum, so I'm going to come on over and play it for you a little bit so you can uh, get a sense for what it sounds like. So. Here we go. We've got this drum, tuning-wise, kind of in the medium, medium range. Got a trick strainer on it, which is very, very nice, obviously. So here's you got sound-wise out at the edges. Let's start there. And we can back the snare wires off a little bit. Put it back up to where they're drier, the center. Back the wires off a little bit. Back them off a little more. get it really, really fat. Now let's play around with it a little bit more here. Now this is with the wires a little bit looser on the bottom. Tighten, let's dry it way up, way up. Even with the snares that dry, it's great. You get nice responsiveness out of the drum. I really like the way it responds all the way through the range. Got a big fat rim shot, good cross stick. Die cast rims will do that for you. Obviously, you could swap this out, open it up a little more if you wanted a more open sound you could take this and put triple flange rims on here change it around a little bit but sounds great even with the die cast on there so so there you have it my congratulations to Ricardo Parra P-A-R-R-A -R -R -A, made a great drum here and uh, we're looking forward to seeing some more drums from him in the near future. See it up at the web, maxwelldrums.com. Thanks.